Hi guys and welcome back to episode 2 of the Aberration Park. As you can see right now you're seeing a bit of in-game footage. Now this is what I built um, before I started to build the habitat for this episode and what happened was as I was building this I had my OBS recorder on and when I checked obviously the footage that I'd done after I finished building it I realized I recorded about one fifth of the screen so you couldn't see anything I was building and all you could see was the like the settings cog in the top right hand corner and that's all I managed to capture and I was absolutely gutted so what I'm showing you now is the sort of what I spent about an hour and a half doing this was the excess foliage that I built from the entrance coming out but for this episode we are going to be building a habitat the first one it's something that um, I was, again, I sort of couldn't really figure out how I'd be able to do this, but the idea was to build a habitat that didn't look like a habitat, had sort of like, was sort of submerged into this sort of actual area itself, so it's like just wild animals running around, and that was the idea, I didn't want to have a barrier, I didn't want it to look like um, you, you go going to view it, I want it to be like you're walking past and then you just see it on your side for instance and it's there, the animals are running around like wild and stuff like that so that was the idea, that was the plan and I think the end product kind of came, came along quite nicely. Now I'm going to let you enjoy this, I'm going to let you watch this bit, um, I've tried to reduce camera movement as much as possible, I like to keep a fixed area so you can see how that area develops, but yes anyway enjoy it guys and I will see you in the video and I'll give you a little walkthrough. It's only about 13, 40 minutes long, so yes, I'll see you at the end. Bye-bye. Thank you. 
Hello again. So we're almost at the end of the video and I, as you can see now, I'm kind of building a staff area. This was something I wasn't actually planning on doing, but I thought I do need a staff area. And if I'm going to implement it, I need to make it look part of the scenery. But the idea of this is to hide all that sort of stuff and keep it as natural and alien-like planet as possible. But of course, you need these sort of things in the game for it to work in some sort of sense. So, you know, I had to add it. So I thought I'd decorate it as well while I was there. Now, I decided to add the tiger and I can't actually remember the other animal that I added in now. I can't remember, but you'll see it, you'll recognize it, you'll know, unlike me. And I thought to get them to sort of live together in the same area, I had to enable some of these sort of mods, not mods, but like the options in Sandbox where you can have animals where they don't have predatory instincts where they're hunting each other and obviously killing each other so I've, it's just i activated that to allow the animals to sort of get on with each other and just sort of be out in the nature and be part of the scenery and also the welfare as well i've had to obviously tick that box to make sure they've got 100 percent welfare because obviously half the stuff i'm building none of these animals are going to like any of it but this is obviously a fantasy thing we are trying to go down a road of going away from building normal things and building something that's completely surreal and different so that is the idea anyway guys enough of me talking enjoy the cinematics i hope you like it if you do don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up it helps me hugely and i'm always always appreciative of it i hope to see you next time see you later guys bye bye